For this December month, I'll be making a simple yet elegant game of hide and seek where the hider navigates through terrain whilst running from a sociopathic seeker. And you can play as either. The idea is simple and the winner gets nothing. Welcome to life. Welcome to the club, pal. Joking. So I sat down and started writing. As I show you this fake footage of me contemplating the game idea, let me remind you guys to like this video and sub to the channel if you want more coffee injected videos. To make sure that I have a better understanding of the game, I did some concept art. And by art, I mean placing pixels in a screen and praying to God that that they make sense. I took inspiration from Daniel Davis's game Mezzer. Unlike me previously, he is smart enough to not delude himself with grand game ideas. Rather, kiss. No, not that. Keep it simple, stupid. I'm horrendously depressed at my art skills, so a simple 8x8 pixel character was enough to protect my sensitive serotonin. So our boy now has his limp dick run cycle, which will plug into the same horizontal movement script I've done for the past two years. Though a different thing I do now is vertical jumping. In real life, as you jump up, gravity affects you the same way it does as you fall. Hardcore. Thanks to Mario, in video games when you fall, gravity is actually greater than when you go up. I made a drill similar to the one that has and will continue to penetrate your mind. Then I made an empty grid, which I later decorated with a lot of sexy algorithms to make it look like Terraria. For example, here the Y axis uses Perlin noise, but then I cap it with a variable threshold. This is great for the surface, but what about caves? In comes cellular automatons. If you want to actually blow your brains out on this subject, then consider watching this video in which I go in depth as to what that is and for what crazy reasons it can be used. Anyways, using the more neighborhood, I ask each cell if it has a number of neighbors, then it either lives or dies. The point is, it will give me these juicy caves that make Minecraft itself quiver in fear of the algorithmic complexity that not even Notch himself could even. Finally, the grid we will use is a combo between Don Perlin and Don Moore, giving us a mathematical duet like young Mike Tyson and cocaine. If you look at the concept art in my game, the cells are too big in game, like my dick. So I shrank that boy. Then, whilst my soul was being sucked dry by academic dementors, I began working on terrain destruction. Uh, when you're looking for a job, you know, and saying, hey, this is something I've After definitely not copy pasting a code snippet I found online, check this out. Of course, we then add sound and particles, which is the equivalent of makeup in video games. And then a background, which finally leaves us with this. And that's it for this week. Stay tuned, cause soon this game will drop faster than my GPA on the first year of college. Like and sub if you enjoyed. I'll also be dropping the code on my GitHub, so check that out. Until next time, I'm signing out.